welcome everybody. I came out here today, honestly, because my daughter and I were out for a bike ride about 45 minutes ago and the light was changing after a couple of days of being super overcast, really flat light, really low clouds, thick and plenty of dampness, drizzle and rain. Things are starting to clear up a little bit today. We're at that transition point between uh, the cloudiness and the sunshine that's supposed to arrive by the weekend. And I just thought I'd come back out here and check things out, see uh, what we could find. Um, earlier, I was really loving the low clouds that were hanging down uh, low over the top of the glacier. They were super close to it, everything. It was almost like uh, a studio setting uh, for a portrait of the glacier where everything around was just like, like a mist um, was filling in the gaps. And so the ice was just really prominent all by itself. Um, that has kind of, uh, cloud level has raised up a little bit, um, revealing some of the mountains behind. So we'll have to go for kind of a different um, shot there, but still I uh, think we might be able to set something up uh, with a telephoto lens and um, find some beautiful things out here today. So um, we'll take a look around, see what we can find. And um, actually just off to my left over here, there are a bunch of icebergs that are near the edge of the lake. Some of them are pretty big, um, but uh, the lake level is really high. So um, it's gonna take some uh, pushing through the undergrowth or possibly trying to see if I can walk through the edge of this lake without having the water come up over my boots. Um, so we'll see if we can find our way over there. I think uh, no matter how much trouble it is, it'll be worth it. So here we go. I thought we might make it out here and find a little bit of space for foreground. And uh, honestly though, um, the lake is so high right now and reaching back up into the trees, there's hardly anywhere to put down a pack and uh, set things up. Fortunately, the plans I had for these scenes are mostly telephoto, so I won't be needing to find any foreground elements. It won't so much matter that there's just a pile of sticks uh, floating in water around my feet. So um, yeah, I'll uh, see if I can find somewhere dry enough to unpack the bag and um, we'll uh, take advantage of these icebergs and the changing light and clouds over the over the glacier out there. Focused out on the glacier, I've got three icebergs kind of spread across in the front here, um, but I also can see a couple more larger ones, uh, more distant. I decided to um, keep the right edge of the frame um, from including any of the waterfall over there, um, just to keep um, a little bit better balance in what we have going on here. There's a lot of sky um, in this photograph, so um, I'm not sure uh, how well it's gonna work out but um, these are definitely some conditions um, worth taking advantage of and enjoying. Through no planning, I also happened to run into some friends out here who are kayaking out on the lake. So everybody's out and enjoying a beautiful day today. We're getting even more of the sunshine breaking through the clouds here and there. You can see it spilling across the glacier a little bit. And it does add some 
nice depth to the different mountain slopes, especially on the left side where some of them are picking up the light, others of them are still in kind of deeper shadow and more connected to the clouds still. Now, got my 70 to 200 millimeter lens on now, and that's definitely causing me to focus more on what's in the far distance, which is all right, because that's where the light is at the moment. Um, I actually didn't expect to see much light breaking through onto the scene and um, was kind of hoping more for interaction between clouds and the landscape, but um, it's always important to stop and consider the preconceptions that maybe uh, you have uh, creatively about what you are gonna get out of a day or a session um, or a location. Um, and just take in the surroundings, notice uh, what's going on and what you can see as valuable and beautiful. And there are definitely plenty of beautiful things out here today. Uh, doesn't matter how many times I've been out here before. It's always a blessing to be here, especially at a time of transition between different times of day, day to night, uh, seasons, or in this case, between weather patterns. All right, I'm getting ready to move on from this spot, get out of the water, make sure everything's cleaned up and then maybe see if we can find any other slightly different perspectives on the changing light and clouds over there. All right, well, I don't know if I got that last bit. Um, camera just shut off, don't know why. It happens every once in a while. Uh, could be due to the rain. Uh, Anyway, I think, I don't know, I might try one more time lapse out here before packing things in, but it's been an amazing day and I anticipate a few more changes in the weather uh, before this day is over. So who knows, there might be a few more opportunities, but uh, thanks for joining me out here and Hope to see you again soon with uh, another trip out for some Juno photography. Bye everybody. This place really is just unbelievably gorgeous. I can't believe that it's so accessible. It's such a wonderful day out here.